Hey guys, Jay War here with another video. I'm going to show you guys uh, today. You might have noticed I'm looking through some of these these chess pieces, uh, mainly these two down here. So uh, just listed eight hours ago, two days ago. Uh, yeah, we got a. Uh, we're looking at some omniscience chests, right? So strength, dex, and spell suppress. So 50x chest and 80x chest. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make this and. You can do it for about probably like 5x. A uh, little disclaimer, I, I don't think they're the best thing to sell for profit. I definitely wouldn't go all in on them. I definitely wouldn't make like 10 chests like this and try to sell them for profit. You're just going to flood the market. Um, when I do make these chests, uh, they, they take a day or two to sell, maybe three days. So they're not in super high demand. So I definitely wouldn't do this, uh, you know, for like hardcore profit or anything. So anyway, you're going to start out with some bases here. I've collected a lot of these bases. Uh, you need high item level bases, basically. I, I like to use these full dragon scales. Um, and they got to be high item level. A little tip, you can get these from Coward's Trial. So I would do rotas to get these bases here that we're going to use. Because we want to transfer, or we're going to use Fracture Mods. We're going to transfer Fracture Mod onto these. Uh, two separate ones, one for strength, one for dexterity, and then we're going to combine them, okay, using uh, recombinators, right? So, I'm going to walk you guys through how we do that real quick. Alright, there's our currency, and we're all set. So, and then you got to buy the fractured bases as well to do this. So, I've got some of those lying around here as well. Here they are. Okay, so as you can see, i got dex, fractured strength, fracture. We need to, uh... First of all, just scour basically everything, right? So we're going to try to move this one strength onto this one, one dex onto this one, or vice versa. So to get into the steps of how we do this, I'm going to show you guys. There's a little technique we want to use. So we want to regal these, or actually want to get two prefixes basically on this with a regal, right? That's a prefix. Regal. All right, two prefixes on one, perfect, right? I'm gonna try the other one now, get two prefixes on this one as well. Prefix suffix. And I'll explain in a second why we need two prefixes. Basically because we're gonna use a crafted mod to add to the pool of suffixes. So when we combine the suffix, it's more likely to keep the strength because the mod pool is larger, which I'm not gonna get too in depth on how that works, but to the best of my knowledge, that is the best way to craft with recombinators. To try to transfer fractured mods. Alright, cool. We got two prefixes on each of these, oh, which we're yet. now just going to craft a suffix. So, I like to use this attribute suffix down here. I probably should use the one for three, but that's fine. And then, so we just regal this as well, right? So we'll do the strength one first. We're trying to regal. That's a suffix. With these, you only have to regal once. It's already got the one magic mod on it. Alright, cool. There's our prefix. So now, this just has attributes. This has strength, and we're going to put attributes on this one. So now, we're ready to use Recombinator on, uh, on this one right here. And hopefully, we get our strength transferred over. Right? That's how you want to do it. So we got the full dragon scale. Oh, uh, and it got, it shows the wrong one, right? Okay, so we just lost a base. It's fine, though. We also need to... Regal it as is. Alright, perfect. We're all set up to do it again, right? We'll try it with this one here. Alright, so we're going to combine these two now. We've got it all set up the way we like it. So, combine these two, and we'll hope to get the strength over on... Okay, well, it's still fractured, so... It's a shame we just burnt. We did. We really didn't waste anything. With that. We just wasted a base. So all right, let's try again. Attributes. See, ideally we want to get six on this one and nine on this one. For the best guy. Oh my God, we did it. Okay, there's no way this one fails now. Well, this one's this one's got to go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Oh, we got fractured full dragon skull. Perfect, perfect. All right, so that's our first base. It's good to go for recombinating for the dex and the strength combined. So now we just got to do that for a, um, a dexterity base. 
So where are my bases? And by the way, you might see these labeled 100 chaos. I've actually had people buy these just high item level bases for 100 chaos from me, which is uh, it's pretty nice actually. Apparently they don't know. So that's what I tell you guys. Just go to Coward's Trial. You can fill up your inventory like twice by the time you get to the end with 86, 87, all the way 88, 89. I think even 90s would drop. I might even have a 90 in here. I do. Yeah, there's a 90. I don't move a 90. So, all right, go through that process again. All right, so recombine. We're looking to see. We're hopefully looking to see a full dragon scale with fracture. No, just kept the honor keep again. Let's combine these two. We're hoping to see our full dragon scale with fractured. All right, cool. So now we're set up for the big one, which is combining our two nice dragon scales, right? And this way. We're going to end up with the dragon scale. That's why we had to do this, because we don't want to make this like a 25, 30 exalt craft on a shitty base, right? Nobody's going to buy it. Right now, we're what? We burnt through a handful, of, we have a couple of combinators, a handful of uh, whatever, bubblegum currency, and a couple of bases that are basically free. If you just run a coward's trial, you can get those hired mobile bases for free, right? So, I mean, maybe we're 50 C in right now, total, right? And we're pretty much at one of the most expensive steps here. So we want to set these up the same way we did the original, right? We want to have suffix isolated decks whenever attributes doubled, right? Plus plus six to nine attributes doubled on each mod. And then when you have the other one, the same thing, but with strength, right? So we, we have that already. So this is actually just good to go. So it's a little bit of the nerve wracking part. Hopefully we get it here. We definitely want to see a fracture. Alright, so just keeping at least one of them. What do we got here? We'll do the, uh... Oh, okay, okay. So, we lost the decks. So we gotta kind of start over and get the decks back. Uh, and I might have to buy one. So I might have to cut the video here. Alright, we kept the same ones. We lost the base, which is fine. Uh, suffix are still isolated, so we need to grab another base. 5C each, or burnt through another base there, didn't hit it. Actually removed our crafted mod. Mod base. Oh, okay, we lost the base. So, alright, I'm gonna go buy base. Let's try to transfer this uh, dex mod over now to the dragon skill. They're both set up correctly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we did it. Cool. Mash our two dragon skills together, and hopefully we get double fracture. Well, we got one fracture, it's a really good sign. We both. So, all right, we lost out. So we get this bad boy set up again. All right here we go. Oh, it bricked. Dang, it chose the wrong one, and we lost the fractured mod. All right, cool. I gotta go buy some more bases. Which these are actually going right now, guys. These are going for 30C. The Dex ones, which are usually the more expensive ones, they're going for 30C. Just crazy. These fractured bases. So you could do this. Like it's it's. It's basically free. Like right now, with all the stuff I've done, I'm still probably under an exile in price for these. So. Boom, we did it. Okay. And we should be just fine. Okay, it's got the crafted attributes, crafted attributes, isolated suffixes. Alright, see, we're, I, it's the base level 86 right here, and 88. So it's going to end up, I think, at 89. Um, anyway. We combine these and hopefully we see a fractured dragon scale. I'll do the thing for dramatic effect. Oh, look at those mods here. Tier 1, tier 2 hybrid. 155 life, that would have been so nice. Alright, I think we have to buy another deck space now though. 7 attributes and 6 to attributes. Whenever we combine these, let's get our. Ah, oh, we deleted it. Okay. Try to transfer our. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Except at least one of the fraction ones. We get both. And T1, nice. See, and that's how you do it, guys. And we have item level 88. Perfect. I was a little bit worried. Alright, last step, guys. Last step here is this. Uh, pretty cool. We don't need any more of this currency. We're all done with that. We successfully transferred. I think over. Kind of time consuming, but very cheap. I think we did that for around 2x, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less, I think it's probably a little bit more. Yeah, super easy. And that 
is the bulk of things. All right, before we do that, actually, let's. Uh, I usually like to do this because I have a bunch of ground and I should have done this before, but it doesn't matter. Either. It doesn't matter at all. 27. But I'm just in some perfect process. All right, so the last step here, guys, is all we do is we're just going to hit this thing with Deafening Essence and Greed until we hit. Uh, um, Alright, cool. Um, until we hit T1 spell script. Wait, as soon as it's ready. Alright, cool. So, we're gonna we should be able to hit it. Hopefully, we get both of as well. So I have not done one of these and not got oh my god, we just hit it, we just hit it. Wow. Okay. This is a great example. Because we hit it in like not even that many essences. So I mean how many that took like thirty essences at about four C each right now, so it's uh hundred and twenty C there to craft this chest with the essences. And then the other bases. So really three X it's cost to make this chest. So in the last step you gotta open three. So here, let me just pull up uh, this craft and show you guys. Take this website real quick. Pull it up and show you guys. Let me just copy this. So, we're going to craft on percent life, right? But, it's got another open. Right? So, oh, in slam, usually I just slam it with an exalt for the last step. Because you're going to hit some type of increased evasion armor. And you have very low possibility. This is like, this is Doomsday. If we hit this fucking, if we hit the Reflect mod, it sucks. But basically, you're almost guaranteed to hit uh, some type of increased armor and evasion or hybrid life, which is your units too. Um, yeah, so we'll slam it, right? So those of you guys that want this, this Veiled mod, as we're trying to hit the Avoid Elemental Ailments, what you could do here is... You go for the 50-50, you go, you go, uh, suffixes, cannot be changed, boom, and then you go ash and slam it, right? And then you get a chance, you get a 50-50, you're moving life, or the crafted mod, and getting your veiled suffix, or getting your veiled prefix, rather. And then, um, you can probably block a hybrid roll, and be almost guaranteed to hit this, right? So you can try over and over again. Uh, I don't really care to do that right now. Um, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice mod, though. So you can go for that veiled mod if you want. I'm just gonna stop here. Cause I've done a lot of these chests, and I kind of always stop here. It'll get really expensive because you get a 50/50 Ashling, and then if you don't hit it for whatever reason, I'm not sure what the odds are. I could do the math here. Like if you were to block uh, one of these, probably have like a hundred percent chance. It might be guaranteed to hit this, but you gotta do the 50/50 Ashling. Which I don't really feel like doing. Um, I think Ashlings are going for about three and a half exalts right now, and this this craft is so cheap. I just want to turn a profit on it. I can basically turn a profit on it, no matter what I do, right? So we're just going to craft on life, our percent increased life here. Well, so, I mean, hopefully we don't hit reflect. If we reflect, it's kind of fucked. Armor division. All right, cool. So we just upped up our armor division by about 30%. Really low tier, but hey, it's a helpful mod, right? All right, let's fix that life roll. Uh, bummer that it defines it. It's not like an exalt in divine strength. I'm gonna make the thing a little bit better, which I would not recommend. But I was messing around. Uh, let's see. So we got 8% life here, and then 6 C E. So probably up to the C. We have completed it. Um, I'll probably six socket it. I just don't have the cheap finished off right now. Um, let's do a quick price check. So, it's the big mod. So, just having this amount of life, right? 28 things just, right? And that's not even including the percent increase. If the percent increased on there, 40, 50 exit. We made it for about five exalts. It's going to be like five exalts when you get done. Uh, six linking, right? And I, I spent a little bit more grief on but 
It's you can do it for five exalted guaranteed crystal. So those of you guys out there that wanted a good omni chest, maybe uh, you know we're looking at some of those out there. That's how you craft a really nice omni chest for really cheap. Basically. So it's kind of time consuming, but hey, I don't think you play too much when you get uh, that that much of value out of T1 spell suppress, essence life with T1 strength and X percent increased life on a chest piece. So. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Hopefully, we have another video for you soon. Maybe we'll do some crafting, some farming methods. We'll see. Thanks for watching.